Hey folks, my name is Blue Jackson, the singing cowboy around these parts. I just thought I'd take y'all on a journey behind those saloon doors to show you some of our private parts. Oh, and I can't tell you how excited we are. Well, he sure sounds excited. And you really should too. I bet you can't wait to hear about it. We have found a beautiful heritage space. This looks like the theme from one of those old Dodge City Western saloons. So let's do Western. We'll take you on the explosive journey of the Atomic Saloon. From its pioneering beginnings to the Las Vegas mega hit. The Atomic Saloon show is not just a show, it's an event. The idea that the show is a party is something that we should be really striving for. We want to create something that's made for Vegas. The energy yeah. of the show is going to blow the roof off. What a Vegas hit show! Let's ride. It's very sexy, it's very impressive, it's very interactive as well. There's comedy, they're sexy, they are sensual, they are blingy. I love it! No one's going to show like that. People are laughing so much I can't do the show. Are y'all ready to mount up into the madness? I think Petra should just be in there groping. Bozy will show you the gropes. The biggest surprise for me on this is how bloody good looking everyone is. I mean, it's hard to concentrate. Time to saddle up and get wild in the west. It's a start a show and then start laughing and don't fucking stop till you get to the end. That's why we created the Atomic Saloon. Party! I'm gonna start again. Let me tell you a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. It only takes a minute, just make some room, and I'll tell you a little story of the Atomic Saloon. Here we go. I'm just going to start slowly to work out what the finale might look like before the fight starts. Well, I normally hate first days because um, I'm trying to take in so much information about who's there and how people react together, but I'm also expected to put out information as well and that kind of thing. But it's going very well. Does anyone have any questions, by the way? How long is the show going to be? Ah, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've handed over to the choreographers for part of the day just to get the. We're doing a very complex finale. So, if everyone wants to get up, everybody. I'm um, Pete, myself, are Irish dancers. Um, we've been dancing since we were very, very young. We met in a show called River Dance uh, when we were 17. We're all up here smiling, doing all the whole thing. It doesn't really matter what's going on down there. Um, one, two, three, four. Bye. A lot of the immigrants brought over their kind of folk dance styles and so a lot of the Irish people came over and the Welsh people with their clogging and Irish dancing and that's kind of seeped into American culture with Appalachian clogging dancing and line dancing as well. We have some of that in the show. I've, I've seen Petra perform. Oh, you've seen me perform as well? Yes. I, well, because I, I had to because I, I found out that he was doing the show. So I thought oh, I'd better go and gently stalk him. Yeah. I was mildly satisfied with what I saw. And then I went to meet him afterwards and then he had all this gaggle of girls like, hey, Damien, Damien, Damien. And I thought, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it followed me everywhere. Fantastic. I, saw, I, I saw you perform years ago. I've seen it a few times with Spy Monkey. <laughs> and you were okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you know, good evening and welcome to the Vegas! I mean, it needs to be that big. And we've got me! Me, 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 me. <laughs> to look at lots of different musical theatre genres and lots of westerns and you know there's, there's going to be a great um, fight in the show. You've got to just keep that yeah. looking like, is this weird? Yes. Yeah. My background before wrestling was dance and powerlifting and I felt like this was like a dance rehearsal very much so, especially because of the creative uh, building. Because we didn't come in and have a script like we do on WOW uh, for those characters. We walk in, they hand us the script and they're like, this is what yeah. you're doing. And with here, you know, it's cool because you work as a team to like make this thing happen. I couldn't even imagine, like, what, what is my life about to be? What, is, what are rehearsals? What are they like? Is it going to be like flash dance or something? I just yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Me neither, but I was so impressed of how day one and day two you could just all see it come together and come to life. And it, it was just like, I, I didn't expect it to happen so fast. But always make the eye contact, you know, really hard like that. Oh, fuck, mm. that was stupid. 
<laughs> what I'm doing for the show that I'm very proud to be in, involved with is, you know, trying to do a ballroom fight. When you do it for a film, you practice a couple of times and then you do it maybe just once or twice. But the, these people have to do it every night. So you just got to keep an eye on them and just basically go through the routines over and over. <laughs> <laughs> what strikes me so far is, is how good looking everybody is. I mean, these people are, goes without saying they're so talented, otherwise they wouldn't be here, but it's a really good looking, fresh, uh, sexy company. So I think we're really lucky. One of the songs is called Eating Pussy and Kicking Ass. Oh, <laughs> I knew I wanted um, to kick off with a kind of warm-up song. Friends Robert Alasic, who's a wizard, he's a music producer, and he found that song for us. He just said, hey, how about this filthy song? Eat pussy and kickin' ass. Kickin' ass. Eat pussy and kickin' ass. Comedy, right? What I do. Pussy in the morning. Pussy in the night. Eat a lot of pussy, then I get into a fight. <laughs> I mean, I think people have just pissed their pants. It's great. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a winner. That's him. Yeah. Eat a pussy. Eat pussy. And kick an eye out. such a super talented bunch of people. I mean, everyone can dance. Everyone can bend themselves inside out. Everyone is beautiful. It's a real great mix of people. It's going to be just belly laughs all the way through. In amongst, of course, these absolutely beautiful acts that I think, will, you know, people would just have their chins on the floor. Yeah. As a first day, that's, that's awesome. Get off your horse and drink your milk. My name's Boozy. Boozy Skunkton. I was at Petra's house in Brighton, and I don't know why the idea of a hag came into my head at that moment. I don't know why either. But I said to Petra, you know, would you like to be the hag in Las Vegas? And I said I would need a lot of makeup for that role. But actually, I've ended up actually having very nice costumes and very nice wigs and looking yeah, quite and pretty. You really look beautiful in the show, yes. you do. Yeah. For a hag. <laughs> really seen the cast and company come alive. We started to see each individual's personality and spark come out into the room. Stop all the wickedness! Yes! No! This is a house of sin! Yes! At the moment it feels like a lot of us trying to find, what, find out what our relationship is. Yes. Because we've been given these characters. But I think the idea initially was that I was kind of just sidekick, and then they're thinking maybe that we're in opposition of each other. But now it feels like maybe we're going back a little bit more on the same team. Mm -hmm. So I don't want the audience to go, oh, he's a baddie, well, and not laugh at the funny stuff he's yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just being as playful as possible, really, mm. and trying to keep your mind free, which is really difficult because when you're performing with not really much audience and you're going over and over and again and there's no laughter and it feels dry, you do lo lose all your pleasure. You just got to keep pushing through and, and finding it and something will happen. Because a lot of what we do comes in into play when we have an audience. Yeah. And that's when you find out if it was actually funny or not. I feel like my background hasn't been too much country. I'm in love again. So it's definitely a new style for me to try to fit into. But uh, listening to a lot of music, trying to making my fingers all raw on the guitar and the banjo, just trying to get everything up and going. So wake me up when we When I was I agreed to go to the audition for the Atomic Salon show and I woke up that morning and I looked at my husband and I was like, I don't think this is for me. And he was like, well, Maria, just go there and if you see that it isn't for you, then just tell them. And as soon as I came, I was like, oh my God, this seems like so much fun. Sorry. <laughs> when I went home, I was so happy that I went because I was like, I almost did not show up.
I'm asking people if, they, if there's anything else they do, what their hobbies are, what they like to do in their spare time, if there's anything they used to study when they were a kid, that, you know, and I use all that and put it in the show just to kind of flesh the characters out. Two of the characters who I've got cast as young lovers, one of them is a strap sack, the other is a pole act, but the girl who does the pole has told me that she also does straps, which means I'm now free to add her to the straps number, which helps our storyline, makes it a kind of more sexy number. I need to change because first I work in static and then I work in dynamic, must be. Okay. And when I was small, I used to do a sport gymnastic, and after this I start to dance, and then I get pole. I'm studying for this in Circus Academy for four years. My style is a lot in the movement style. Also, I think my straps are very intricate because they're loop straps, so I can go with my whole body in the strap and just not the hands like the usual straps. I try to move fast, so it creates sort of an illusion that my body is like getting distorted. I did a ping pong act with my ex-partner for 13 years and then we stopped working together and I still wanted to do something with the ping pong ball so I started to think and I talked to him and I talked to another friend and slowly the nun came. <laughs> A lot of people ask wrestlers how we got into wrestling. And for the first time in my life, felt the same way for something else. I was like, wait, how, how did you learn you could do this? Yeah. <laughs> how does it What I feel? I feel so strange. <laughs> in this show, I have, uh, yeah, I have pink bikini. It's a nice costume. It's going to be like my first time working in the so open costume. But I think it's going to be cool. There will be a belt, like a, a gun holster, but you could to get out something funny, like a banana or a... Uh, <laughs> oh God, not bad! Rolling, 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 keep the doodle rolling. Well, I've done a couple small uh, fringe festivals um, in the States, and I, I have heard just glorious stories of what Edinburgh is like, and just the most incredible art that you've seen. So I can't wait to just jump into as many shows and see as many performances as I possibly can while I'm here. The Fringe Circuit is definitely a place where you can try and do anything. Actually, Edinburgh is a lot arty. There's seasoned theatre audiences. They go to the Edinburgh Festival for years and years and years, and they're coming to see theatre shows of the whole gamut. The Edinburgh Fringe thing is that thick, and then the, you've got the actual festival itself. How do you think the show is going to go tonight? Great, and I think it's going to get better every night. Oh, really? And what do you think about this venue? Is it nice? Um, yeah. I mean, if, if you did it in the Venetian, it would be a lot nicer, but... Well, that's where we're going, right? Yeah, I know. I think it's going to be hilarious. This is different. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's not about the act, it's about the boobs. Everyone, welcome.
was awesome. It was such a crazy electric energy backstage. That was great. I mean, every single act tonight just delivered 100%. They didn't expect that stupid shit. It was so amazing. Howdy. Las Vegas is a place to see. But I'm a coming glory, glory, holy glory, holy. I'm coming to cleanse your souls. Last three weeks, we've been doing construction on the venue. Things like repairing holes in the walls, redoing the seating, which you can kind of see sort of behind me here in the center section. Same things downstairs. And this week was our first week of loading. Producer bar where he takes his special friends for drinks before the show. And this is our backstage area. Producer friends, yes, with folks. <laughs> the venue is absolutely beautiful. It's what I am saying is a bijou in the desert. We're just adding so many kind of layers, so much different kind of comedy and the story sort of coming out more. got some really good ideas about what you want to do in space, let me know if you want to like pop over. We've got this marvellous um, shelf here, it's a glass shelf. I'll definitely wrap up some lines in there to breach it, that'd be quite funny. Yeah, that's a right. yeah. line. Absolutely, yeah, that's what it's yeah. called. I'm ready. Oh, I'm sorry, everything's ruined now. Sorry about this. It's all going so well. Yeah, I mean, everything's going well apart from him. He's sort of taking down the, the level, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't realise you could hear me. I love watching the old people come through the doors here, you know, going, yeah, oh, let's see a show at the Venetian tonight. They think they're going to see some, you know, Glenn Campbell doing something. Like them rhinestone cowboys. 
And then they come in, and he's singing about pussy and eating ass, and you can see them going. <laughs> but by the end of the song, they're going, eat ass! <laughs> That's my favourite. <laughs> Okay, so this couple came to see the show in April and they loved it so much. It filled them with love, that's what they said. It made them very excited and they decided there and then they were going to come to Vegas to get married. And they're here tonight in person. So what we're going to do is feature them slightly in the pre-show. Yeah, yeah. Are you there? This is what I do before a show. I, 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 I. Now, do you know why I do that? Because no. I'm learning to yodel. I'm feeling good, man. I think the show's ready. It's ready for an audience. Oh, I'm really excited. Yeah, just excitement, no nerves. <laughs> oh, if the people love it, then I will be happy. That's, that's it. I think we have a show that's just awesome. Just a wonderful, loving family of people who all work here from the front of house through the box office to the back of house. Atomic will become a show that Vegas can be proud of for many years to come. I just want to have a huge amount of fun with all of the brilliant people in the show and all the brilliant people outside of the show and have the biggest party of our lives and then try and get through the day tomorrow.
we were on this sort of trajectory of hit show in Edinburgh and then it was like landed here and it was it was going like you know steaming ahead and we had you know our original cast and all of that and then suddenly stop with the shutdown it kind of threw a wrench in the whole performance industry people in such devastating life-changing circumstances you know, we lost about half the cast and there was a lot of things that we couldn't do anymore. So slowly we've kind of pieced it back together. 13 and a half months since we last did this show. such a strong vibe that show that it just kind of holds itself together no matter who's in it who's not in it we haven't got every single person that we had in the original cast but all the people that we have in covering those roles or have taken over they're fantastic i just think all the new people have brought this brilliant new fresh energy into the show we got christian and his puppies percy and milo they do an amazing balance and and dog trick act The strength of what I bring is the, the, the act that I have with my Chihuahua. It's a, it's a super unique act. I've never seen something like it before. And, and the chemistry that we have, I think, kind of shines on the stage. Nobody thinks that a little dog is going to pop out at any point. And so when the dog jumps out, the crowd already loses their mind. It really like pulls out this childish nature of the audience as they're watching, and they absolutely steal the show. I'm right before them, and I'm like, oh, I'm getting a pretty good reaction, and then the dogs come out, and it's just like, well, what? why do I even try? Hi, my name is Fernando Miro, and I play the outlaw in Atomic Silver. My outlaw is a blend of Johnny Bravo with uh, Sue Lander, with uh, myself. I think there's a little bit of narcissism in every single one of performers out there. The outlaw is that notch that goes to like 100%. Geraldine, I mean, her act is just, like, phenomenal. All my tricks are there, but the act is completely different. You know, I grew up in the circus, so I did, like, traditional circus, and that's totally something else. So I try to kind of combine myself with Fanny, like, to be a bit more sassy, but then be me. I think it's the look and just the way you walk, and even, like, just little details, I think it makes the character special. You have to show them, like, I'm the queen and I go, I'm, I'm owning that place and look at me. <laughs> Lord, please release this man from the clutches of the devil and I cast him out <laughs> No, and I'm so excited that we're getting Eli back. He's such a terrific actor and clown and, you know, just a person. Love him. Wow. He's got this sort of, he's the most camp preacher, I think, which really pleases me. The character <laughs> exists in this wonderful world of holiness and debaucherousness and gets to play in, in this kind of dichotomy, which is quite fun to play into. He's a good looking man, but the preacher is kind of, mm. So there's like all these things weaved into one where you sit there and you're like, am I supposed to like this or not? Is he sexy or not? Am I turned on or not? There's like all these questions with him, which I love. Every single character in this show is funny. When we came to creation, they were like, but I'm a serious performer. But Cal dragged that comedy out of everybody. I love the company. I love the show. But more than anything, I love my castmates. We are a family. We're always playing games. We're all been doing like shenanigans, doing stupid stuff. It's a party every day. 
I'm really proud of Atomic. It was such a happy birth, that show. People screaming their heads off laughing all the way through. And it's full of surprises, that show. There's a bar brawl, and everybody's throwing bread and fighting each other. We're going to push those boundaries. We're going to push your buttons. You might get offended. The characters, they're so strong. It's so fun. It's so alive. We're really connected, and you can see it on stage. It's just the electricity between us. We are having so much fun. You cannot not have fun. There's no place it'd rather be in the entire world. It's a fantastic show and I hope it runs and runs and runs. It's one of my favourite shows I've ever done. Welcome to the Atomic Saloon Lounge. I'll tell you all a little love story. I tell all the time. Friday night I was getting off of work. Man, that boss man, he's such a jerk. So I got off of work, I went to his house and I ate his wife's pussy and I kicked his ass. Oh, but eating pussy and a kicking some ass. Eating pussy and a kicking some ass. Eating pussy and a kicking some ass. Eating pussy and kicking some ass, all right. Do ba di 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 do ba. The shit it it we ba ba ya da do da. Shit it it we done just squeal the beat ba ya wow. What squeal it 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 Cool. <laughs> I had a really good idea for the poster, and I know that they, they, they're thinking about it, no, but let's see, they're not at all. They Doesn't should just have a little it. picture of me as the hag, you know? Yeah. Just in there, no? People don't come to Vegas to see a hag. I'd yeah. love to be on the poster. 